Hello everyone and welcome to the Randall's Rant. As I said on Twitter earlier this week, I did plan on doing a rant. I'm going to talk about one candidate for President, Mr. Donald Trump. Now everyone's acting like Donald Trump all of a sudden became this villainous guy, this really big ass jerk scumbag, but he's he's kind of been that way his whole life. I mean seriously, Here's a guy who back in the 1970s teamed with his father to keep anybody who wasn't, you know, white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant pretty much out of the hotel city or out of the apartment buildings that he was running. In fact, Trump and his father were sued, reached a settlement after an investigation because, you know, they had that little application there that says, um, what race are you? Which was very illegal even back in the 70s. Now we also move on to Trump's later abomination, what he did to the United States Football League in the 1980s because you see Donald Trump couldn't buy his way in the NFL the NFL simply did not want him a lot of it had to do with the fact that Donald was investing in all of these casinos and the NFL did not want to have any connection to the gambling especially since the whole Arch Schleister incident from 1982 so in any event the NFL pretty much just tells Donald Trump uh, thanks but no thanks we don't want you here so Trump decided to buy his way into the USFL well, there he met a guy named John Bassett, founder of the USFL, owner of the Tampa Bay Bandits, and pretty much was the only guy who had no problem putting Donald Trump in his place. Once Bassett got sick in 1986, 85 around there, was uh, diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. Light bulb goes off in Donald Trump's head. Here I go, now I'm going to get what I want. And what he tried to do was convince the other owners to take the league from being in the spring to being direct competition with the NFL in the fall, which led to the lawsuit, which the USFL won but also lost because instead of the multi-millions of dollars, they only got a buck, which traveled to like $3.16 or something like that. But in any event, and even Trump's whole response afterwards, like, well, it was a nice experience. Goodbye, everybody. And that's the guy, the type of guy Trump is. So after he screws everybody with those apartment buildings and trying to keep it a white-only apartment building, and after he screws everybody in the USFL, he kind of lays low for a while. He makes his usual media appearances because everybody was after Donald Trump. You know, Trump, to put it in modern terms, Trump is pretty much the forefather of the Kardashians. And if you really can't stand the Kardashians, well then, what the hell are you doing voting for Donald Trump because you're pretty much voting for a Kardashian with a penis. That being said, so we move on and flash forward to Donald Trump's run for president and his despicable, deplorable, yet protected by the First Amendment treatment of the cons. I mean, Trump's like, oh yeah, I, I made sacrifices, yada da da da. Meanwhile, the cons, Sean, he actually went and died for this country. And then Donald Trump has the brass big ones say, well, who the hell are you to say that I, uh, this, that, and it's like, basically Trump is saying that the cons can't talk smack about him. This is after the cons brilliantly said, uh, have you read the Constitution? Because, you know, that's one of the things that are in there, free speech, just like it's my free speech to see here and call Donald Trump the biggest asshole that ever walked the face of the earth. Well, one of them, but... Okay, the biggest American asshole. There we go. We'll, we'll do it that way. But in any event, don't act surprised that Donald Trump is the way he is because it's the way he's been his whole life. Donald Trump doesn't care about anybody that's going to vote for him. Donald Trump doesn't care about anybody that attends the rallies. Donald Trump doesn't care about Paul Ryan. He doesn't care about Lindsey Graham, two Republican stalwarts who basically have come out against him. Donald Trump doesn't care about the cons. Donald Trump doesn't care about anybody, but... Donald Trump. He's an egomaniac. Donald Trump is in love with Donald Trump. Bottom line. He's not running for president because he wants to improve this country. No, 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 no. Donald Trump is running for president to satisfy the ego of Donald Trump. And pretty much I think if he does get in, we're going to be screwed, blued, and tattooed. Bottom line. Keep in mind, this is not an endorsement for Hillary, and it's not an endorsement for anybody else. This is just my feelings on Donald Trump. And But I will say, for all you people out there that don't like Trump, don't like Hillary, and want to vote for Gary Johnson, I first off have to ask you, have you had any severe brain trauma? 
And if you have it, I will suggest that you Google Gary Johnson Swindle, and you will see that basically Gary Johnson is nothing but a pawn of the Republican biggest donors, the Koch brothers, so don't think Gary Johnson the third alternative. That being said, I just want to say in closing, Donald Trump, he's in it for himself. Like I said, he does not give a rat's ass about anybody. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about anybody watching this video. He doesn't care about anybody that shows up at his rallies. All right, He's in this for himself. Do not fool yourself into thinking otherwise. And if after this, and after doing a little Googling, you still want to vote for Trump, well then... You know, hey, that's your right. I, like I said, I'm not here to dissuade you. I'm here to provide you facts. Bottom line. And that's all I can say about that. I want to thank everybody for uh, checking out this video. And hopefully there will be one again in the near future. I'm Randall. Thanks for watching Randall's Rants.